Okay, welcome back. I know a lot of people have been asking me a lot of questions in the comments, so I decided to, uh, I mean, I was gonna do this anyway, but I guess now, sooner than later, I'm gonna go ahead and, um, uh, the dirt driver going under my car. I can't stand them dirt drivers. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a, um, a full spec on my car. All the mods, everything that I've done to this car since I had it. I mean, it's gonna include like everything from A to Z to, to get the car looking the exact way it is. So let's start with this. Uh, first of all, I got an ECU tune. Um, orange virus in California. Well, formerly. Um, seemed like every place that was able to crack the ECU for the GS430, I don't know if they had some legal terms or what, but every place has went out of business. Orange Virus was the place that did mine, and then they went out of business. Well, technically, they went out of business in the country. The guy that was doing it moved back to Japan. And, um, well, I have my software to, to do all my changes and whatever, but my, my ECU is completely cracked, and I have to send the ECU in for me to do it. So uh, I got a performance ground system. So basically, this is the ground, the grounding. You see, I got it. Oh my bad. That's the power. This is the ground. And I actually made this. I built this myself because I'm, I'm, I deal, I deal with like a lot of electrical and stuff like this. So, so trunk light LED. My trunk light. I swapped my trunk light out. Let me open it up right quick. I swapped my trunk light out. So just a little quick mod I had because I had some extra LEDs and you see the LEDs right up here just poking right through and it gives a nice bright white light illumination at night when I open the trunk up um, got the uh, jet performance mass airflow sensor so on my mass airflow sensor See if I can get to it, yeah, get a picture of it right here. That's my mass airflow sensor from Jet Performance. Right there, I got it on my intake. Um, Which I can just go ahead and say, I got the engine intake. This is actually from a 2005 GS430. And yeah, I got it piped down into the fender through here under where the airbox was. And it's going down. The fender is actually sitting in the bumper down here. So it's cold air. Um, my car is lowered, of course. So I got the TN S Tech lowering springs. Don't mind the car; the car dirty, I know. So TN S Tech Tech lowering springs. Uh, see, as you see, the engine bay is painted. Custom, custom painted my engine bay. Um, I got the the TRD oil fill cap. Got mm, oh, okay. Yeah, the aftermarket headlights, as you can see. And in here, I have to remove the uh, well, not remove, but in the original light, you have to remove the ballast off the bottom of them. And because uh, these don't require a ballast because they, um, I now put LEDs inside of them. So they all LEDs. So basically you just wire them straight to bypass the, uh, the ballast that you had. And same thing here, I got LEDs for my, for my highs. Which yes, they got a slight flicker to them. It's not bad. Might bother some people, but it doesn't bother me. And over here, I actually got a little moisture. Well, I just, I actually was riding a little rain like two days ago and the moisture and then got inside this light so I gotta dry take this off dry it out and seal it out seal it up with some silicone um okay of course if all my LEDs from the top and my fog lights are 6k's I got 5k uh, parking lights so my parking lights are 5k's I got a uh, 5k sun visor lights that are in the car I got 
5k reverse lights you can actually look back here and see the that yellow tip on that bulb all of the bulbs that i got from uh for my upgrades are all come from vleds.com uh i got red interior floor leds so i just got some led light strips and go ahead and take a look and on the floorboard and on the floorboard you can see down up under there and same in the back that showed in my last video so the floor is light up and illuminate red the, the strips are right up under here you see the LED light strip right up under the edge of the seat no problem they been there for a while now um we got five percent tint all the way around front strip uh back window everything um my wheels are str str uh str racing and i think they're 067 067 i think is the actual model of the str racing wheels don't quote me on that but i'm i'm trying to help y'all 067s i think um my wheel specs well my wheel specs for uh for my for my vasins because i recently had vasin cv3s on here uh the problem with the vasin cv3s is they had stress cracks Keep in mind, I had my Vison CV3s for like a year and, and some change, and they cracked here, here, like on the edges on most of my rims, at least had one crack. It was slight hairline cracks. They didn't like separate, but I saw the stress crack. Now the thing about these STR wheels, see, see how the bar goes straight down? See how it loops back in a little bit? Vison's don't do this. I actually have my Vison's. They were over on top of my, this little room I'm building in my um, shop. But I actually have my rears and my, and they still have the stretch cracks in them right now. Just sitting over there. No, I didn't hit no bumps, hill, uh, holes or nothing. Um, so the wheel specs were 20, uh, for the fronts, 20 by nine at plus 38. And 20 by 10 and a half at plus 45. And those are the wheel specs for the Vossen, so it's real similar for that, to get that real, real tight, tight uh, fitment and nice fitment with uh, any similar comparable rim. All right, you see I got the red brake calipers. They're dirty right now, but not one chip has came off of them before I done them. So I done these. No chips, no, no misses. None of, none of it came off, but I done these. You see, I got the Lexus decals on them. But I done these with uh, the G2 brake caliper kit. And the thing about it is, they had that bright, bright red in, they, in the brake caliper kit. I didn't want the bright red. So what I did was, I got the red kit and I got the black kit. And I put some black inside the red to darken that red up to get that that red to match this. Have all this with that slightly dark red. Cause I wanted all to have that red to match like the the, uh, the tail lights. I wanted that dark red. So in order to do that, I got two two brake caliper kits to uh, mix them together. Let me pull up a little bit so you can see them. There we go. See the brake caliper a little better. Gotta move that bar out the way, see? And the way I put the um, decals on, I put the decals on. As soon as I, I painted them, uh, as soon as I got to the last the last wheel, I came back around to the first wheel after the paint somewhat dried and adhered. And I laid the label right on top, boom. It's a, uh, it was a vinyl decal, so the, uh, the enamel on the uh, calipers was still sticky, but it wasn't wet. So it was enough to 
um, for me to lay that label on, you get to do it perfect. You, you don't got a second chance of doing it. And pull it off and, and stick it on there. And the enamel made the, uh, the label bind to it. Not only was it just sticking to it, but it was binding in the enamel. So the, the, the Lexus never comes off. It looks like it's just part of the actual caliber. Um, you see I got performance drilled and slotted rotors. Drilled and slotted in the performance. Starting to get a little rust here. I originally had got rid of all that rust. You can still see some of the protection from the, um, I put a, uh, what was it? Rust-Oleum Performance, the black on the hub area to uh, eliminate a lot of the rust. You know what? I may not got the front, cause look, the back is perfect. And look, I got a little frog just sitting back here. I guess he's trying to get some information too. But you can see the black has no rust on it at all. So I guess I didn't get the front that good. Oh, uh, what else? We got, I got ceramic pads on here. So there's no, no brake dust. Well, hardly any brake dust. The only, only dirt I get is whenever it's raining and the ceramic dust can't just fly away without sticking. It gets caught in the, in the water and rain and makes the black residue inside the wheel. Got uh, my bottom front grill. So this front grill right here is actually extra. I bought this, add the grill on there and I painted it. I used uh, the Rust-Oleum black paint in the can again to coat that and then put some clear coat over top of it. We got the 5K LED puddle lights. So yeah, change these out. Put 5K puddle lights up under, the, under that. Got the GTA iPod car kit. That's, that's the thing, this thing is old. I mean, I'm gonna update it, upgrade it. I'm gonna actually put in a newer system I found for the car, but the iPod car kit allowed me to get an iPhone or iPod connected to the car or any auxiliary cable so I can play my music. I mean, this, this was a big thing five or six, seven, eight years ago. Um, what else? Got two kicker L7s in the trunk. So behind this, Behind this wall, exactly the there's actually a speaker box. This is not the back of the box. This is actually a just a facade board with security screws and everything to keep it in. It's all it's all bolted in the car. But you can see a little bit from the front. You can see the L7s in there. I never turn them all the way up because they got a nice deep base that'll shake the car apart. I got a Valentine B1, one of the best radar detectors. You can buy on the market, but I do need to update it because it's not the latest update. Valentine V1. Uh, my exhaust. I got, I custom built my exhaust. So it's not like no buy bolt, bolt on. My exhaust comprises of several things. So I originally in a, a video I had on my, on my channel, or earlier video I have on my channel, from like years ago, it was just the cat back of an M2 exhaust. Well, since then, probably a year after that, not even a year, I bought I bought my own X pipe, and just the X pipe. Yeah, just the X pipe. And I took off everything. They cut the they cut the wells well the M2 exhaust, the right part of the M2 exhaust where it bolted on, they cut it and they straight piped it all the way to the front right after my catalytic converter. My, I think I had three catalytic converters. You got, you got two on the bottom, right coming off of each side of the motor, and then you have another one in the middle. They cut that cut that one out. Big knee down and all those. Another resonator or muffler or something. They, they cut that out. All the, all the guts in the middle gone. So all I got is two catalytic converters on, on each side of the motor coming down. And then a straight pipe to it, uh, to this X pipe, and then from the X pipe it goes straight to the muffler. Um, 
I got the uh, the Junction Produce headrest pillows. Got the Lexus seat belt pads. Got these off of eBay. I forgot where I got this. I found some site that had this. I mean, any kind of VIP site you can pretty much find out. Um, uh, I actually had these are the first Lexus seat belt pads I had first before I found the other ones. So I just put those two in the back. The Megan Root Spoiler. So that's the Root Spoiler for the back. That's Megan. Uh, I need to upgrade my racing lugs. You can see these are still, but it's, it's rust coming out from the inside just through the utilization of tools and stuff on the inside, kind of breaking that coating off. I originally had some black aluminum lugs. I would not do aluminum anymore because anybody you get to do your car, you can tell them straight up. Make sure you guys don't put an impact on them. Make sure you don't put an impact on them aluminum lugs. I guarantee you, they're gonna be doing whatever they doing when you leave that car there. And if you're not in the back with them, they're gonna grab that impact, and they're gonna put that impact on your lugs, and they're gonna strip them out. Guarantee you. So, I didn't wear steel lugs. Just kept my steel lugs, and I mean, ain't no problem with those, so. got uh the front lip the front lip is a uh, j spec it's a j spec front lip with a big old dragonfly stuck to it but the j spec front lip and this will make that like that nice drop and i like how it drops a little low on each side now what i have on top of uh, i mean on uh, uh, in addition to that is a rubber lip this just the cheap rubber lip you can buy in a roll off of eBay. And I put it on the lip, and I put it on the side of the car. Because when I was looking at the side effects, the side ground effects you put on the side, they didn't look that much lower. They just was plastic that went over the plastic in your car, but it only dropped the car about maybe an inch. I'm like, man, I could put the rubber lip on and make it look just as good. And I tried it, and that rubber lip looks Looks gravy, man. Look, that rubber lip, and, and and I like the angle of it. It comes back out like it has a, a nice little stick out. The, uh, the ground effect you buy that way cheap, way, way higher than that, didn't even come or uh, give us good of a look. Um, uh, I de chrome the trim around the grill in the front and the headlights. Just using black wrap. Also, Euro, I did a Euro horn upgrade from six speed. These horns are very loud, believe it or not, and I love them. See those red horns? Some people think those are turbos. Those are six speed Euro horns. Of course, we talked about the intake. Oh, and the F Sport brake pedals so I put the uh, brake pedals in here the F Sport brake pedals those are legit I love those they look good as hell look even this one right here the foot stop the foot rest I mean and you gotta mount those on yourself you gotta drill them in put them in and everything and um they fit they look just like they factory now, things that I took off the car originally, that I had at some point, I had brake caliper covers before the G2. So I was trying to figure out how to way to get that look without buying big brake kit when I already had a big brake that came on the car. Uh, I don't think the 350s come with the big brake. I think, I don't, yeah, I don't think the 350s come with the big brake, but I got the big brake. So I already had a big brake caliper. Didn't need to pay another three grand for some upgraded brakes. And already got the dual piston brakes. Um, but I had the caliper covers on there to try to get that red look, and they didn't look, it looked too fake. It was too big and too fake. Just didn't give that original look. Um, a weapon or a throttle controller. Uh, I actually have that right here. I don't use it at all. I actually got it mounted down. I need to pull it out. I had a problem because it worked fine. And then all of a sudden, it'll just throw a code in my car. 
like the uh, accelerator, just mm, 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 and then I get the engine light. I have to unplug it and just plug my pedal right in because you, it goes between your pedal, your pedal signal and your uh, pedal, and it goes like right in between, so it just changes your throttle response. It did something decent, but my car is tuned now, so I don't need it at all. I need to just go ahead and take it out. Oh, uh, has a Vison TV3s on here. Took the Vison's off because I actually messed up the front. Messed up the front too. I dented one side and cracked the other side. Running up on a curve. Wasn't paying attention. My back two were perfectly fine. I thought I was gonna buy two fronts, but when I after I went to, went to buy the two more fronts, they were out of stock. So I had to find what two more fucking fronts so some other ones. I waited a while, waited like another month or two. They were still out of stock. Everywhere I looked online, they were out of stock. Boxes had none. But I was like, man. The second I saw them, I knew because it spans out here at the bottom. I was like, these are gonna be a lot stronger. This little span right here is what increases that strength. I don't got one crack on that one of these rails. Um, I had the uh, I had original K N air filter, and I deleted the resonator. So got rid of that whenever I got the uh, the intake for the. Uh, 2005 GS430. Uh, of course, I took my 6K uh, HID beams and the fog HIDs, all that stuff out when I got the upgraded uh, headlights. And I had some XIX X33 wheels. And if y'all look at my my post, my um my build thread, actually all this stuff is in my build thread on sickest GS430. Just Google that. Google Sickest GS430 on Google, and you'll see the Club Lexus build thread pop up. And all of this stuff is in there. You can see the, the rims that I have there. They on top of the, uh, this little building over here. This little shop, this little room I'm building in my shop. It's like a little loft area up there where I store my stuff, but all those rims are up there still. And um, those rims are nice. And I'm actually gonna put those rims on my girl car. The, uh, the bins, because I think it's got the same offset, bolt pattern, everything. It's going to be real, real similar. So I'm going to test fit those on there, and that's when I'm going to start Hubdale Thread. I'm going to start documenting that. That's going to be a whole nother, uh series on the channel. You're going to see me. She got a C300 uh, formatted, so I'm going to be doing updates and upgrades for that as well. And that's going to be project number two course and I got Suburban I'm gonna start making some modifications on that soon she see I already tinted it out right now but I, I want to put some 26s on there probably you know do some things to it too so have a lot of car a lot of car modifications and things going I mean y'all done spoke y'all done spoke man y'all let me know what y'all really want to see most I do a lot of stuff man and I only put a couple things on the channel just kind of throwing the bait out and seeing what y'all liking y'all love y'all love the cars and the, the four-wheeler you know that's that's like the main thing so i'll make sure i keep the stuff coming keep the content coming hit that button like subscribe share and like i said if y'all want to know more things like repeat some of these things or see the images and pictures as i was doing some of these things just look at my build thread on club lexus just type in sickest gs430 on google i guarantee you it's gonna pop right up sickest gs430 just look at it on Google. It'll bring it right to the build thread on Club Lexus. And you get to see some updates and the things as I was doing it in the progress. So, like I said, like, subscribe, comment below, share. Make sure y'all stay. Follow, follow, follow. More content coming soon. Thank y'all. Peace.